Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today we're doing another VHS haul. I was not planning on posting one so soon after my last one, but I've been finding a bunch of tapes that I don't already have and the stack was kind of piling up, so I figured I would just go ahead and film another, so let's just get into it. So I did also find some DVDs, so we'll get into those first. This one is called The Rat Pack, and I was very surprised I had never heard of this movie before, but apparently it was from the 90s, and it was like a made-for-TV movie um, by HBO, I believe, but I'm excited to watch that. And then I found this Frank Sinatra DVD with all of, or I don't know if it's all of the duets he ever did, but a bunch of duets he did with a bunch of people. I thought that would be really cool to own. And then I also found the movie High Society on DVD because I didn't have this on VHS. If I find a movie that I really like, um, if it's on DVD, I'll buy that. So very excited about that. And then I found another um, Lucy show DVD. It just has like 30 some episodes on there, I think. So I was excited about that. I have a few more of them as well. And then I found this movie starring Brian Cranston, which looks really good. I'd never even heard of it before. I think it was from 2015, so I'm excited to watch that. Um, it's about, like, the blacklisting that happened in Hollywood in, like, the 40s, I guess. I'm pretty sure it was the 40s. Anyway, I think it's based on a true story. And then I found this Will Smith movie. Um, I'd, I've never seen this before, but I've heard this movie is really good, so I figured we should pick it up since we didn't already own it. And then I did find season one and two of Will and Grace. It's one of my favorite like 90s sitcoms. So I think we have like season four or five. So these were a little bit pricier than what I would normally pay, but it's still better than buying them new. So I found some older Disney um, like live action movies. So I found a few Hayley Mills. I don't think I've ever seen the Moon Spinners before. And then I found this other Hayley Mills movie, which is not a Disney movie. I've never even heard of this before, actually, so who knows <laughs> if it's good or not. And then um, I found this <laughs> Apple Dumpling Gang. Actually, is Returns. I thought it was the original, but with Don Knotts. Don Knotts is so funny. And then, of course, The Absent-Minded Professor. And then uh, I found this Harry and the Hendersons movie. I'd actually never heard or seen this movie until probably less than 10 years ago, but John introduced me to this movie. It's a movie that he watched a lot when he was a kid, but I had actually never heard of it, but it is a cute movie. It stars like John Lithgow and I don't remember the, the mom, but it's in like a clamshell case, but it was clear. So it was very different. I don't think I have any that are in that packaging. And it's a great haul for Frank Sinatra. So I found Anchors Away with Frank and Jean. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I love it so much. They made a couple other movies together that are really cute as well. I've got this Dick Van Dyke movie I've never even heard of before. And then we've also got The Way We Were. I feel like there's quite a few Barbara Streisand movies in here. I also found a lot of Bette Midler. Um, and then I have the original uh, Star is Born. I actually do have this on DVD already, but I would prefer to have the VHS, so I'm just going to donate the DVD. I also found another classic film starring Gregory Peck that I've never heard of, so very excited about that as well. And then we have another classic film I've never heard of, called The Chalk Garden, so it looks interesting. I'll pretty much buy any classic film, regardless of if I've seen it or not, because I love classic films so much. And we've got The Gumball Rally. Um, I, can't, I feel like this was made in the 70s, but I'm not entirely sure. I've never seen it. Um, and then I have this like dual pack. One is a Dean Martin movie and the other is a Laurel and Hardy movie. I don't think that I had either of those, so I picked them up. Found this Nurse Betty movie. I think I've heard of this, but I've never seen it before, but it looks like it could be funny. And then we've got this Spanglish movie, another movie I've never seen before, but I do like, I do remember when this movie was released. And then this movie I've actually never seen before either. I think it might be from the 80s, but it looks like something I would enjoy. So I picked that up. Mm -hmm. 
Then we've got this Steven Seagal movie. I actually don't think I've ever watched a Steven Seagal movie before, but um, John is a fan of them. He watched them a lot when he was a kid, so we picked that one up. And then we've got this Chocolat movie, which also we've never seen, but we both are big fans of Johnny Depp, so I'm pretty sure we're getting close to having all of his movies now. And then I think I have seen this movie before. I feel like they used to play it on TV a lot. And then I saw this um, like Blue Jays uh, 1992 championship uh, VHS that I thought John would really like because he was a big fan of the Blue Jays when he was a kid. So then another Barbara Streisand movie, which I've never seen before, but I bet you it is really good because it has Barbara and Richard Dreyfuss in it. And I just feel like that combo is probably really good. I've seen this Pacino movie, never heard of it before. Um, that's kind of like the theme of this, I think. Most of these movies I've never seen before, but they just looked good. So I was surprised I found so many that I had never like seen or heard before. I think I've mentioned before, but if we watch a movie and we don't like it, we just donate it. Like if we feel like we will never watch it again. So, but it's kind of cool just having a huge library of movies that you've never seen to choose from at any given time. I've also never heard of this Clock Watchers movie before, but it has Lisa Kudrow and it has Parker Posey in it as well. Then we've got uh, Goldie Hawn and Steve Martin, a great combo. I think I have seen this house sitter movie a really long time ago, but I do really love Goldie Hawn movies. Um, then this movie I've actually never heard of before, but I am familiar with Sarah Polly because she starred in this like Canadian TV show back in the 90s. So then we've got another Goldie Hawn, this time with Chevy Chase. I've not seen this, but I love, like I said, Goldie and also Chevy. So this is probably a really funny movie. And then this Trapped in Paradise movie caught my eye immediately. Oh, you can see Marley walking by. Um, this looks like it would be hilarious just judging by the cast. I'd never heard of this before, um, so I'm really excited to watch this. actually on the top of my like to watch list right now. And we've got another Bet movie uh, with Lily Tomlin. I don't think I've seen this before, although it does look vaguely familiar. I had never heard of this movie before either. We found an officer and a gentleman. I'm surprised we didn't actually come across this earlier in our collection journey. And surprisingly, I don't think we had ever seen Godzilla before. I've never actually seen the movie, but obviously I've heard of it. The case is like very like three-dimensional. It's neat. And I'd never heard of this movie, Le Divorce, before either. I had never seen this movie or heard of it, The War, with Kevin Costner and a young Elijah Wood. So it has potential to be a good movie. And then we did find the original Austin Powers, which I think I've only ever seen the first one, like, one time when it first came out. And then I got this Naked Gun movie, but um, we did already actually have this one, but I couldn't remember because I think there's a few of them. So then we've got this other bet movie, and we've got the Flintstones from the 90s. I actually love this movie so much. And the Sandra Bullock movie, I think I do remember when this came out, but I've never seen it before, so I thought I would grab it. Movies were like t uh, 5 for $6, I think, um, so... That's why I'm just like getting all the ones that I haven't seen before because it's so cheap. I've never seen this Demi Moore movie before either. And then John actually found this Neil Young concert like live at Red Rocks. So he was excited about that. We have a kind of not that big, I guess, but a little collection of like music VHS. I don't think I've ever showed it before, but maybe when I show like my <laughs> reorganized VHS tour, I'll show that too. So we found this Maverick movie that I've never seen before, and then this Jessica Lange movie, um, which I really love her a lot. Uh, I've never seen this movie, but I was excited to see that. There's this movie called Paper Moon. I don't believe I've ever seen or heard of this movie before either. And then I found North by Northwest. I was actually surprised that I didn't already own this movie, like that I had not come across it before. And then I found this other classic movie. It looks pretty old, but I think it's from the 30s. Um, I don't know if I've seen it before. And then I'm really surprised that I didn't already own this movie. In fact, I think I've been seeing it and thinking that I already owned it, but 
then I realized I didn't so I picked that up and then found the good the bad the ugly I was also surprised I did not already own this and lastly I found Fiddler on the roof so that is it this one was a little bit more but since I didn't have it I picked it up so that is it for my haul I think it was like 50 VHS and then plus the DVDs but I'm pretty excited <laughs> I'm like slowly finishing the VHS display and like organization so hopefully I'll be able to post that like if not this month but at the beginning of next month but very excited I have so many movies to watch that I've never seen so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon